translate it back uh, to English and compare it with the authorized version. And then after that, then they uh, also have a word search that is that they can do with their Bible Works program that they use for translating that word search. Actually, they search each word and they see if it has any variants. If it has any variants, it means they misspelled it. So they do a spell check basically comparing that new copy of Scripture with the new copy of Scripture. And by the time it's done, it's very accurate. And they've already got the John and Romans printed. Thousands of John and Romans are being put out. And they have basically the New Testament basically done. They just need a few things to finish that up. I said all that to say this. I believe that our church ought to do something. Let me read to you um, Brother Elishay. I asked him before he came. I said, if you would, so we're not taking on missionaries at this time is what I told him. But I said, if you would give us some one-time needs. Now, there's something that we could give toward one time then the, you know, give us something that we could make a, a goal or a target. And I'd like to hear some feedback from you on this, and not not tonight in this service, but uh, at different times. The uh, here's some opportunities. Runyon Kare is the language, or Runyon Kare, or whatever it is. Anyway, for fifty dollars a month until the end of 2012, you could support the New Testament translation. Is basically what they're saying. So fifty dollars a month in 2000 until to the end of 2012. This would be. Um, the middle of 2010, so that would be what six months, 300 plus 600, be 900 dollars a person. We could support the support them at 50 a month until the end of the translation. You could do a Bible translation training week for 30 translators. In other words, they would train translators for one week, and we could pay for 30 people with 500 dollar one time gift. So with 500 dollars, we could um, support that. Bible translation software is a $350 one-time gift. That's the Bible works, and that's what it costs. And then Bible translation books to help tr help a translator get started in the translation work. And these would be basic Greek grammar so that they be could begin to learn the uh, Greek language as well as they're part of the Dean John Burgon Society. If you're familiar with that, it's a group of people that believe strongly in the preservation of the Scripture. And um, that's a $30 one-time gift. So... Um, if you would like to have a say in giving something toward this group of individuals, in something in particular, you could do so by giving. And if you'd like to just write down, I'd like to designate this much. And we don't usually take designated funds, but this is something we'll allow for a one-time exception in our church. And so if you want to give toward that, uh, I mentioned that. You can look at, at it later, and you can. I have a DVD at my house that you could borrow and listen to. But uh, I do like the idea of somebody not coming and presenting something that they're going to do. And a lot of times what people are planning on doing is a pretty lofty goal. And if you had accountability for whether or not they accomplish what they're said they're going to, many times the individuals that you support don't do what they say they're going to do. And, and maybe it's not because they don't intend to. It's just because sometimes what they want to do is a big chunk. This is a big project that's been taken on and they're already doing it. And I think that's great. I'd like to be part of it because when the Word of God goes forth. Souls are saved. Lives are changed. And I don't know if you can imagine not being able to read the Bible in your language. But I think it's an important thing to be able to get the Bible in languages where people can read it. It is a privilege to personally have the Scripture. You know, there are times when I'm especially impressed as I go to certain people and I minister to them and share the gospel with them and I realize they can't read. And they can't do what I can do where they can just pick up a Bible and have God's Word and hold it and handle it. And we ought to be grateful that we live in a country where basically anybody that desires to can read. We can read the Bible. And um, not only can we read, but we have the Bible in our language so that we can. I think that were I a Christian, and I am, and I did weren't able to read, and I couldn't, and we didn't have a Bible in our language, I'd learn a language and learn how to read and write in it so that I could read the Scripture. And um, it's important. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Where's Alex at? We'll have him come up and we'll take up the offering this evening. Hey, hey Jonathan, how are you doing, man? Did you get a shower today? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Good good man. All right, I thought you did. Let's have a word of prayer. Let's ask the Lord's blessing on the offering tonight. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the opportunity to worship you through giving this evening. I ask you bless this offering. Lord, impress upon our hearts what we ought to give to be involved with the different ministry opportunities that we have, both with Sam's Australia trip that we're going to take up an offering for on Sunday evening. 
as well as being a part of this Bible translation project. And I just ask you to bless the offering at this time. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>